So my name is um, Jim Murray. I'm head of the Division of Molecular Biosciences in Cardiff University, and I also run a research group of about a dozen people here in the university. And uh, we research in a couple of different aspects. So we're very interested in uh, uh, ways that plants control their growth. And we also work in a completely different area, which is in uh, applications of bioluminescence and uh, things that glow in the dark. So we all know that plants grow from simple seeds and that when a seedling germinates it just appears with a couple of leaves above the, above the soil or in the example of a grass just a single leaf. Um, but those plants then grow on to be very different. They might be big trees or they might be small crop plants. Um, and all that growth occurs after the plant has germinated. So that growth requires lots of cells and those cells have to be organised in specific patterns and in specific ways. So what we're really interested in is understanding how cell division is controlled in plants and how, that, how cells are put into specific patterns and organised in specific ways to produce the structures that we see around us in the plant world. Well this kind of research has a number of applications that we're, um, that we're involved in. So in the long term, uh, understanding how, how cells uh, are organised and divide in plants allows us to think about ways of altering plant architecture or crop architecture to optimise uh, the yield of crops for example, where we want to make bigger seeds or bigger plant organs such as fruits. Um, so that's our long term goal is to um, understand how that can be achieved and to use that to for crop improvement. But there are also interests in understanding how plants respond to the environment. We all know plants grow differently depending on whether there's high light or low light. If you put your plants in a dark place they get tall and thin and straggly. So plants are the cells in the plants are responding differently to those environmental signals of, in that case of light. So companies are, or many companies are interested in understanding what we call abiotic stresses, stresses that the environment puts on the crop. And we're interested in understanding how the cells are actually responding. If we can make the cells respond differently, then the crops can uh, respond in a better way to a challenging environment produced by climate change, for example. We work with a, a range of companies. Uh, in, we have, in particular, we have a long-standing collaboration with Bayer Crop Science uh, and their research institute based in Ghent in, in Belgium. And we've been working with them for, for many years on both on the architectural aspects of, of crop improvement and on stress responses and understanding how those operate as well. I moved from uh, uh, Cambridge to Cardiff about two and a half years ago with uh, several people in my research group. I had a personal chair in, in Cambridge, I was in an organisation called the Institute of Biotechnology which was a small entrepreneurial uh, biotechnology department but I decided that I was looking for the second half of my career for something in a larger environment where there was a broader range of skills. So having moved to the School of Biosciences in Cardiff University I find that I'm now at the centre of a much larger organisation with a very broad range of skills and experience which I find extremely stimulating. In general in Cardiff I found life to be, to be great. We really love living in the city, there's so much going on. We love being near the national parks and the Brecon Beacons and the, and the Bristol Channel. So um, we're really enjoying life here. It's been a very positive move for us.